Hello everybody and welcome back to The Second Shelf and to another new releases video. I changed the title slightly from the TBR to be released video uh, videos that I made last year, but the idea behind it remains the same. Each month I, each month I present a couple of uh, new releases that I personally find interesting. I haven't read any of those, so I can't really tell you whether I like the book or not, but I find them interesting and maybe you want to look um, into them. I'm a bit late this month because it's already the 10th today, but oh well, what can you do? Just roll with it. So here are the upcoming or not so upcoming, the releases of January 2021 that I personally find interesting. And like last year when this series was still called TBR, uh, we will start the new releases with general fiction. And this time I picked a debut novel because one other thing that is not going to change this year is that I'm trying to read at least one or two debut novels every month. Doesn't always work, but you know, I, I, I try. So I picked a debut novel for the general fiction uh, new release, and that is Tori Peters' book, Detransition Detransi Baby, which will be published uh, on the 12th of January. Uh, Tori Peters is an American author, uh, and she is part of the trans literary scene. At least that's what I uh, understood from her web website. Uh, she published uh, short fiction and novellas, but this is her first novel. Um, the Transition Baby is about uh, three people. Um, Reese, uh, a trans woman who, um, when the novel opens, um, uh, has it all. She has a loving relationship with Amy. She has a good job. Um, and she is comfortable as a trans woman in her life. Uh, but then Amy decides to detransition into Ames. And that causes all kinds of trouble. The relationship falters. Um, Ames uh, gets involved with Katrina. And then there is a pregnancy. It sounded really, really interesting and fresh uh, and new. Um, I haven't read that much fiction uh, where trans women or transgender people uh, in general play an important role and certainly not um, a protagonist that detransitions uh, from uh, a trans woman back to a man. So I, I thought that sounded really interesting um, and that's why it made the list of the new releases. January 2021. Next, are we next? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, next, we move on to translated fiction, because as you know, that's another um, goal of mine that I had last year and that I will continue to have this year, try to read as much translated fiction as possible. And certainly from countries that are you know, not my usual, like French or Italian or whatever. And this book is from Palestine. Um, and it's called My First and Only Love by Sahar Khalife. Uh, did I say that right? Khalife, yes, translated from the Arabic by Aida Barnia. The book has already been published on the 5th of January. Now, Sahar Khalife is a obviously Palestinian author born in 1941, and she has published um, a a list of novels and they have some of them have been translated into English and I have never read her so shame on me um, but uh, maybe I can remedy that by reading her latest um, this book follows um, a woman Nadal who returns to the West Bank after years and years of absence uh, she left after uh, in 1948, um, and it's now decades later, and she reconnects with her first love um, uh, that she had back then, but she also uh, reconnects with her family history and reads the memoirs of her uncle. So from what I understood, this is a, a, a book about the, the history of Palestine after 1948, uh, which I've find fascinating and important to read about. And I don't think I've ever read a book by a Palestinian author. Um, so th th this sounded fascinating. And uh, like I said, 
even though uh, Sahar Khalife had been translated into English um, and she had written and published mo multiple novels, I have never read her. And it seems like a good idea to remedy that. The next category, as always, is nonfiction. And for this category, I picked uh, a biography, um, The Sisters Blackwell by Janice P. Nimura. Is that right? Janice P. Nimura. don't know what the P stands for. But she is an American author and scholar uh, writing nonfiction uh, and publishing articles, nonfiction articles. So this is her second book. Um, uh, I haven't read her before, so I can't speak about the previous book, which is a, a, about a journey from east to west or something. Um, I'm not that well prepared today, obviously. <laughs> But anyway, let's talk about the sisters Blackwell, which is about um, Elizabeth uh, and uh, her sister. And I forgot the name. Like I said, I'm really ill prepared. Emily. <laughs> Elizabeth and Emily Blackwell. The Blackwell family was a, a upper middle class family uh, that moved from England uh, to New York in the early 19th century. Um, and Elizabeth uh, was the first woman to receive an MD, so become a medical doctor in 1849. And she was then joined by her sister, Emily, who also became a medical doctor. And the book is about their journey at a time when women didn't study medicine, when it was an abomination that a woman, a young woman would want to study medicine. And they both those sisters changed the world uh, in that respect, if you will. Uh, and from what I understood, the book also gives the background of mid-19th century U.S., um, um, the, the, the status, status of medicine at that time, but also the status of women, women in science and women in society in general. I thought this sounded absolutely fascinating and interesting. So there was no doubt that the Sisters Blackwell would make it into the new releases for January. And did I say the book will come out on the 19th of January? Well, if I didn't, now you know, 19th of January. And then, as always, we end this video, the TBR, formerly known as TBR, <laughs> now new releases video with sci-fi. And uh, because sci-fi is also a spotlight genre for me in 2021, uh, I picked two books, not one, but two books uh, in this genre. The first one will also be published on the 19th of January, and that is Nady Okorafor's new novel, well, novella, it's about 150, 160 pages, uh, Remote Control. Um, this is the, the story, again, Afrofuturism. If you are familiar with Okorafor's work, uh, she writes, uh, yeah, between sci-fi and fantasy um, and what is labeled Afrofuturism. So this one is no different. It's about Fatima, uh, a seven-year-old girl who is changed into uh, um, a being that has incredible powers and she has to find a way to deal with it. And the powers are not... Um, benign or benevolent, but they are scary powers. So she is the the angel of death, or she is related to the angel of death. That sounded, um, if you have read Binti, uh, where also a young girl gets powers, but it, different because they're more um, yeah, benign powers. So I thought this was an interesting twist on this theme of um, a coming of age sci-fi where you have a young person, you know, coming into powers uh, because it's scary. <laughs> her, her, her powers are scary also for, for her. And she um, has, as far as I understood, no means of controlling them. So that sounded really fascinating. Um, and I love... Uh, um, not all of Nady Okorafor's work, but I always think it's interesting. So this one, of course, had to make it into the new releases video. 
And the second uh, sci-fi novel has already been published on the 5th of January, uh, and it's the new uh, Stina Leicht space opera Persephone Station. Uh, Stina Leicht is a Texas-born American uh, sci-fi and fantasy writer, and she writes these big, you know, yeah, space opera adventure uh, books and series, and Persephone Station um, is no different, I gather. Even though it's called, it has a bit of a twist because it's called a feminist space opera, and I'm all here for that, of course. So Persephone Station uh, is a kind of a backwater planet that all of a sudden um, gets the attention of an evil corporation because there's something secretive to exploit on this planet, and then you have... Uh, you know, a group of, of female heroines, Rosie, who owns a bar, and then you have Angel, uh, who is a former Marine, and she and her group, they get into all kinds of adventures, like you do in a space opera. Um, if you are into this kind of sci-fi, like I am at times, um, I think you can you know, you can you know what you expect with this kind of space opera adventure book, and it sounds fabulous. Anyway, so these were my uh, five picks of new releases in January that I personally find interesting. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you for sticking with me in 2021, I hope. Uh, as always, I'm looking forward to, uh, to your comments, especially if you have um, a title in January that is a new release and that you are excited for. Um, and I'll see you all soon in the next one.